Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to record a quick devotional um, that I was reading from from 1 Samuel chapter 1. And it was speaking about the story of how Samuel was born through Hannah and the process that she went through to not only have Samuel, but also um, some things that really stood out to me about worship, worship and sacrifice. Uh, let's start at verse three. So we're reading about a husband. Um, we're reading about Hannah, who is one of the wives and another um, lady who was another wife. So two wives. It says, verse three, the year after year, this man went up from his town to worship and sacrifice to the Lord at Shiloh, where Hophim and Phinehas, the two sons of Eli, were the priests of the Lord. Whenever the day came for for Elkanah, the husband, to sacrifice, he would give a portion of the meat to his wife, Benaiah, and to her sons and daughters. But the other, to Hannah, he gave a double portion because he loved her, and the Lord had closed her womb. Um, that's something that kind of, when you read that, the Lord had closed her womb, like, what? Like, why would, why would the Lord do that? What was the, what's the purpose behind that? That doesn't make sense. And you look at, you know, the story it carries on. Hannah was constantly provoked by year after year, year after year, year after year by the other wife saying, ah, oh, you can't have kids. You can't do this. You can't do that. And it brought her to a place where she really had to decide. And I don't think it was necessarily just like an instant decision, but it was more of a something's got to change decision. And it put her into a place where she ends up at the altar of God and she's um, praying, praying in such a way where she's literally just. But in her heart, she's praying and her mouth was kind of moving a little bit. And the guy thought she was drunk. The priest thought she was drunk. And the funny thing is, we I don't know if you've ever been there, but maybe, but when you, when you get to a place of desperation where you're like, not just like, God, you got to do something, but Lord, I need you to change me. And your worship becomes that sacrifice. And in that, I believe that her heart was changed because it says after she, you know, prayed this prayer and and the person thought she was drunk. She's like, Oh no, I'm not drunk. I'm just really have anguish in my soul and just praying. And, and she comes to a place where the, the priest says, well, may the God of Israel give you what you ask him for. And he goes, she goes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. May the Lord find favor on, on, on me and stuff like that. In the last part of the of the, the chapter, it says this. It says, And the Lord remembered Hannah. I'm like, we're dealing with the God of the universe who controls everything. And it says that he remembered. And it made me come back to the point of the worship. And the worship becomes the sacrifice And it brought to the Lord's remembrance. And when Hannah did become pregnant and had the child, she named the child after that season in her life, which was, let me pull it up really quick, (laughs) which was this, it says, she named the child Samuel because I asked the Lord for him. And I don't know about you, sometimes you hit a place where you, where you just don't ask anymore. Maybe it's just me. But because you're like, oh, what if this doesn't happen? Or what if this? But when your worship, not just your not just your song, the songs you play, but your your lifestyle leads you into a lifestyle of sacrifice. Of I'm gonna fast today because I want I want to know God more. I'm gonna pray today for my friends because I want them to know God more. I'm going to do this with excellence in whatever facet I, I'm in. If it's my work, if it's my family or whatever, I'm going to do with my absolute best. And it led to a place of that sacrifice, of giving up a piece of herself to become more like what God is asking her to do. 
And then at the end, she ended up naming that place after what she had been through. And it kind of makes you ask the question, well, what if it, what if all this never happened? Like, what if the Lord had opened her womb the first time, the first year? We would have never had Samuel. And so the, the point and the kind of thought is when you're feeling like your worship is not making a difference. Remember that even Hannah had to go year by year, but it came to a place where her worship was no longer just a song. It was a heart's cry and it was a sacrifice. So the challenge today is to remember to continue to worship because people are watching your life and the Lord remembers those those tears you cried when nobody saw and you showed up and you were consistent and you were faithful and you honored him and you put him first and you're like, Lord, I've been trusting you with this and the Lord remembers. He does. So, Have a great day. Want to record this for you guys. We love you. Talk to you later. Peace.